but you got my script. You want to give it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Terry. I appreciate uh, the kind introduction, and certainly uh, it's uh, a high honor for me to be able to participate in this, the 21st anniversary celebration for Father Victor Yurecki and Marilyn and your mom and dad and your children and, and your entire family. Uh, where'd Rabbi Cohen go? He's, I thought he was, well I swear I thought you were describing politicians. When you, when you, every phrase that you use, I was saying, well that's me. And, and I'm not going to give any jokes because they usually fall flat or I miss something or they don't make any sense. <laughs> and that's something we're noted for. But I, I do want to uh, say that it's uh, quite a tribute that we uh, have seen not only tonight, but I understand it's been an entire weekend of celebration for uh, your rabbi and, and all that he has meant to each of your, uh, each one in your uh, synagogue and to each one uh, that has ever been touched by Rabbi Yurecki. And uh, yes. Terry mentioned my length of service in the Congress, and I'm reminded uh, on my 21st, on my 25th anniversary in the Congress, a reporter called me and uh, asked if I realized that having gone to Congress when I was 26 and celebrate my 25th anniversary, that meant I'd spent half my life in Congress. And I said, "Oh, really? Well, uh, can that really be the case?" And uh, the reporter asked. Uh, how it felt, and I just said to myself, well, uh, out loud, I said, I guess I'm just feeling old. So uh, that was 10 years ago. And the good news for you, Rabbi, is that looking back, I now, now realize how young I really was. <laughs> so congratulations on your youth, vitality, the chayim. Right, Bonnie Fraser? Fryzer about ten times uh, the correct pronunciation. <laughs> then uh, uh, right before me, I heard it over and over in the uh, celebration and the music that we just heard. But like all of you, I am indeed a friend of the rabbis. Uh, he has come to Washington on numerous occasions. Uh, whether I'm in the office or not, he is always welcome there with whomever he brings. And uh, I hope that he feels he has a home on Capitol Hill when it comes to my office. Be right and we've had some very good discussions about the issues of the day, about the Middle East. And uh, when he really engages you, I tell you, you have no choice but to be engaged back with him. Uh, I think uh, many of you will attest to that. But I am convinced that if we're left to uh, just he and I, that by God we might truly reach a comprehensive peace in the Middle East. And, and just, you know, just think of how he has filled this valley, this town, this state, with his kind words, with his warm deeds, with his dedication, with his persistence, with his pictures that he uses with our young people to really connect and to help them connect with the message and with the traditions that he is so good about instilling in them. And uh, I searched high and low for just the right proverb to capture Rabbi Eureka's, Eureka's good words and faithful service over the last quarter of a century. And finally, I found it. And uh, by some coincidence, it just happened to come from a famous Lebanese. <laughs> Khalil Gibran, the well-known poet and artist from Lebanon, known to many around the world. And uh, by the way, let me just insert, insert one more Lebanese uh, advertisement here, uh, that in the next couple of years, the Huntington Museum of Art will be exhibiting Khalil Gibran's art. So stay tuned because you will be hearing more from Khalil Gibran right here in West Virginia. But I do think that Khalil Gibran uh, had our guest of honor in mind when he wrote the following. 
God made truth with many doors to welcome every believer who knocks on them. More than anyone in my memory, Rabbi Yurecki has knocked on, opened up, walked, traveled, walked bravely, marched boldly, and carried some kicking and screaming through many doors, <coughs> seeking truth, knowledge, and understanding. Now maybe the rabbi would, would draw the line at the proverbial gates of hell, but I wouldn't tempt him. Armed with the courage of his convictions, which is pure, which is pure, who knows what depths his disarming charm can conquer. Not for a minute do I mean to suggest that the good rabbi is on some dogmatic quest to spread faith, to convince others of anything, or to make right the world. No, this guy just likes people. He just likes people, and he loves life. And he loves instilling the tradition into our young people. It's sort of infectious, don't you think? Sort of infectious. The lover, this lover of words, of linguistics, of language galore, who revels in literature, from the comics to the really heavy stuff, the stuff that the rest of us are glad somebody else has the patience and for it. This man loves learning. But above all, he prizes learning from everyone that he meets. And what a rare opportunity in this day and age of social networking on our computers, relieving us of the sometimes awkward face-to-face -face engagements with those we love. Rabbi Hureki truly loves people and he loves everyone he meets. Now, Rabbi deserves all the praise we can muster for pulling people together on the trail of tolerance, pulling them on the road of understanding and spreading the masses onto the superhighway of friendship. And sorry, Rabbi, I just had to get that word transportation in there. <laughs> kind of slips out. I think Judge Kaufman knows what I'm talking about. Good judge, I see him over here. And uh, while he is most honored by this celebration, this wonderful recognition of his milestone of service, the more I get to know him, the more I suspect the greatest honor we can pay him would be to accept, to embrace, and to adopt the Yurecki way. To knock on, to open up, to walk bravely, and march boldly through some doors on our own. None of us is privy to the future, especially when we will be in our, especially where we will be in our next 25 years. But we know that with, we know that with complete confidence, those who have been touched by this good rabbi will remember far more into the future than the next 25 years. We and the countless that have been touched by him and his family have been enriched forever and a day. So may God's blessings continue to grace your family, Rabbi, and each of ours for having touched and having known this great man. So thank you again for allowing me to be here this evening, and happy 25th celebration to you, your family, and all of this synagogue. Congratulations.